is Natasha, and since I don't need to make dinner tonight, we have leftovers from last night's stew, I decided to use my ordinarily dinner time prep to make some cookies. So I saw a recipe, let me see where I found it. I'll include links in the description as always. It's from uh, New York One, NY One. It is for chocolate orange oatmeal cookies. I'm making one tiny variation and that's adding craisins in lieu of raisins. Um, but otherwise, let me show you the ingredients. Two room temperature sticks of butter, which is half a pound, it's four ounce each stick. Then one and a third cup lightly packed light brown sugar, which I've already measured out everything to save on time. And two eggs, which have already been cracked and put in a bowl. Then one teaspoon of vanilla. My little prep bowls. Uh, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Three cups of quick cooking oats, which I have in a bowl over there. One cup of uh, bittersweet chocolate chips, and I've added the craisins in addition to that, about a three quarter cup. And two tablespoons of fresh orange zest. So I'm going to cream the butter first with the, something just dinged, I don't know what it is. I have the oven preheating at 350, and I'm gonna use two cookie sheets lined with nonstick sill pad like uh, sheets so I don't need to grease or but you know butter or flour so I'm gonna take my butter and add the brown sugar and cream that in my KitchenAid stand mixer so quick li little tip I'm gonna move this over so you can see more of it the reason I have it in a paper plate it's just easy to dump There you go. So I'm going to cream it off camera so it's not all loud in your head. Now that the sugar is nicely incorporated in, with the butter, I'm going to add the two eggs and the vanilla. And I crack them in the bowl just in case there's an off egg because these are fresh from the coop today. Vanilla. And then I'm going to incorporate that. Also off camera so you're not hearing all the loud noises. I'm definitely going to scrape down the sides to make sure that I get the distribution of the eggs and vanilla and you hear dogs drinking water in the background <laughs> evenly. I'm just going to scrape it up against my spatula. And then mix it a little more. Okay, so the next things I'm gonna add are the flour, which is one and a half cups. Again, having paper plates makes it easy to tap in. And I can use that for like bringing scraps out to the chickens in the morning. And then baking soda, that's a one teaspoon. Then, Oh, I need a pinch of salt. Just make a pinch of salt. I think it calls for half a teaspoon. Probably a little bit more. That's good. A little salt. And the oats. I'm gonna mix this first, then add, oh, cinnamon too. So the last things I'm gonna add in after I do a little bit of a mix is the orange zest and the chips and craisins. I'm gonna add in the chips and the craisins and the zest. I think 
that might be enough, or I might just do a quick hand mix. Let me just take the beater out. As you can see, it is a really thick dough. So I'm going to try and keep them uniform by using this, I think this is two ounce scoop. I wish they put the size on them. Pretty, Maybe it's ounce and a half. I'll have to find, figure out what size this is. So let me get my sheet pans out and then I'll distribute the cookies and flatten them lightly with a uh, moistened hand. We'll keep a little bowl on the side. Then they go in the oven 15 to 18 minutes. Both sheet trays are covered in cookies. I've scooped it, scooped them out using my one and a half ounce. I think it's one and a half ounces. The recipe says that it makes 30. So initially they each had uh, 12. And then I had to put some in between the rows and they shouldn't spread too much. So the only thing that I did after I scooped them out is I moistened my hands and then patted them down just ever so slightly. So they're in even depth. There you go, you could see from the sides. So now they're going in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes and halfway through I'm going to rotate the pans. I have the um, oven set to the racks in the middle middle for evenness so it's not too close to the heating element and then when I go to rotate them I will also switch so the one that was on the top will go on the bottom and the one that was on the bottom will go on the top. So they're going in now and it is oi 11, oh wait, no, 9.30. <laughs> Well, they're out of the oven, and just so you know, I'm going to keep it real. Um, I made a mistake. I should not have overcrowded that pan. So some of the center ones are going to be square, <laughs> whereas these are round, and they look delicious. So I'm going to transfer them on the cooling rack so they can set up, and that's it. They smell absolutely divine. The orange zest comes through. You could smell the sweet... Um, vanilla and chocolate chips how can this be wrong so I'm gonna call Polly and ask him to stop and get some milk on the way home so he can enjoy these I won't tell him that I made them but I'll just let him know that the milk we have is bad which it is so he can pick up some fresh milk so that's it that is the orange oatmeal chocolate chip craisin cookies highly recommend them I definitely should have used three pans instead of two and I have the pans, I just would have had to bake one um, pan on its own because I only have two shelves in my oven. Because one was broken by chicken, several, uh, turkey, giant turkey several years ago. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy and I hope you try them. Again, I'll include a link along with step-by-step -step photos on my blog. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to thumbs up, it's free for you and it helps me out. Otherwise, if you have any special requests that you want me to make on video, please do so below. Thanks for watching, everyone.